Zukunft. In this podcast, you will learn which installation steps and tests are required when assembling new cylinder heads. The cylinder head was cleaned before assembly and checked for damage. If used parts are reused, they must be checked for damage and signs of wear. The sealing face on the valve head must not be staved in. Slight wear can be removed through rework on a valve grinding machine. The valve stem faces and the stem surfaces must not be damaged. Valves with damage in these places must no longer be used. Concentricity of the valves is checked with a dial gauge. Slide radial eccentricities can also be corrected with a valve grinding machine. Valves with a radial eccentricity of more than 500 mm might be bent and must be replaced. Rework should be avoided. The grooves for the valve cutters must not be worn. Important! Only new valve cutters should be used for safety reasons. To determine the valve guide clearance, the diameters of valve guide and valve stem are determined and deducted from each other. The determined clearance is compared to the nominal values of the engine manufacturer. If no manufacturer information is available, the guide values from the table can be used. After checking the valve guide clearance, the freedom of movement of the valves must also be checked. The valve stem seals must not be installed for this. The clean valve must glide into the clean valve guide without resistance during testing. If the valve does not jump back a little upon impact, there is a problem with the clearance or geometry. The valve guide must be cleaned again and reworked with a reamer if required. The correct valve recess or valve protrusion is a prerequisite for smooth interaction of all components. Thus, the dimension specifications of the engine manufacturer must be adhered to. If valves are positioned too deep in the cylinder head, this results in diminished compression. If a valve recess that is too big is detected, it is probably the wrong valve or an excessively reworked valve. Such valves must not be used. If valves protrude too far into the combustion chamber, these can collide with the piston during operation. If the valve dimensions are okay, a valve protrusion that is too big can be corrected by reworking the valve seat insert. The tightness of the valves is the most important prerequisite for trouble-free engine operation. Leakiness results directly in irregular engine running loss of power and motor function, and burning through of the valves. The valve tightness can be tested from the duct side with a low-pressure testing device. Alternatively, the tightness can also be tested with a small amount of fluid like for example petrol or petroleum. If no low pressure is built up, or if the liquid flows very quickly between valve and valve seat insert, the valve is not tight. Tightness can be achieved through grinding. Before assembling the valve stem seals, the valves are oiled and moved into the valve guides. Before the valve stem seals are assembled, the washers or valve rotators must be inserted. For the valve stem seals not to get damaged during assembly, a protective bushing is used. Oil facilitates assembly of the seals. Valve stem seals with a supporting body made of plastic are pressed onto the guides manually with a suitable assembly tool. 
Seals with plate girders are carefully placed in position with slight knocks by a plastic hammer. The seal is tight if a solid knocking noise is heard. Attention! The valve springs must be checked for perpendicularity and length before they are inserted. Bent valve springs must be replaced. Following assembly of the valve springs and insertion of the valve cutter halves, the cylinder head is ready for assembly. Further information is available directly from your local motor service partner or from the web addresses shown.